Hello guys and girls, what's going on? This Saru 7 here as always and I'm bringing you another game uh, let's play walkthrough, it's gonna be Darksiders 2 didn't play first game but since second game uh, just came out for PC I'm fully and prepared to play this game so yeah let's start I tried a couple minutes, uh, check my control since I'm gonna play on my controller and everything seems alright and yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much during this uh, Let's Play Walkthrough Science, I don't really want to ruin your experience and yeah, that would be pretty much uh, what you should know so yeah, let's start, shall we? Uh, for some reason this loading screen, okay finally yeah as well I'm playing uh, on my controller I didn't play on him maybe for more than a couple months there can be no life without order good evil darkness light there must be balance in the universe such is the decree of the charred council an ancient body charged by the creator to preserve the very fabric of existence but the balance has been broken even now Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the horseman war triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms to serve and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Uh -huh. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed, and the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Okay. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four, not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. Simple. To bargain for war's freedom, Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. This might be dark. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. Let's do that. Looks awesome though. Okay, find a way to save war. Find the keeper of secrets. Made a little bit of time to use my cell phone controller. Can we sprint somehow? Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet! Okay, we can attack. Uh, 
Uh, run directly towards the wall and jump A to climb the wall. Uh, press <coughs> RB to dodge current attacks. Okay. I guess that we can collect those. X damage is sixty-seven seventy-four. <gasps> that one is better. Okay, let's see how to equip those. Uh, currently we have uh, 23 to 27 damage. Okay, didn't wanna go there. Okay, we don't have any skill points so far. Okay, now let's see. Uh, this one is far more better, I guess. And we have defense one. Wow. Okay, that should be that, I guess. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. So yeah, let's continue. This is no place for. <laughs> okay. Apparently, we can summon our horse every single time when we want to do that. Reach the top of the dark fortress. Can we? Oh, we have second attack. And we just found more defensive items. What the hell is that? Health potions, Avisam. Okay, defense, equip, of course. Okay. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah. I guess that I had full health, but... That can traverse wooden beams in the environment. Jump head towards the beam to grab on. Okay, then lean and jump. Let's remember all those controls. damage isn't that good so I'm not gonna even take that. I don't know really can we sell some of those items later. Maybe we can. So maybe it's better to collect those. Some of you will probably uh, talk about uh, that uh, that they shouldn't play second game before first or maybe I shouldn't go blind into this but unfortunately that is what I like to do, to go blind, blindly I mean, in those games. And to give to you guys viewers a full experience when someone play the game for the first time. That way you will know should you buy that game or no. And of course it's far more, it's far more interesting. Okay, did we collect everything? 
hopefully. Uh, let's see, 80 till 90. Well, we have that one, so... Defense sucks. Okay. Let's go there. <laughs> Oh god, shouldn't go on that way. Okay, <gasps> this time. We are good to go. Did I just uh, upgrade my second weapon? Looks like. Oh God. Equip. Thank you. I'm gonna actually kill all of those signs. I don't know, maybe we can find something interesting. Even though we don't need to do that. Okay. Okay, maybe that wasn't... Okay, this wall. Nice. Okay, do we really need to go there? I guess. Mm, I expected some sort of boss fight, so it's not a surprise. Ice giant. Oh. Press a bit to dodge incoming attacks. Time your dodge to avoid damage. Okay. Focus on near okay, I see. That is awesome. And this actually shouldn't be really hard. Yeah, that was pretty easy. He didn't even touch me. Even once. Guess we're gonna go in level 2? Maybe not. Can we find something useful from that huge ass giant? Apparently, nope. That can extend wall runs by vaulting over something. Move towards the wall an angle and jump A to run along the wall. Oh, nice try. Huh. Perfect. This really reminds me of Prince of Persia, I think. Music. 